Ahead on this week's CAL FIRE report, how CAL FIRE safely uses prescribed burns to protect people from wildfires while also improving the environment. Find out how your love for the outdoors and your ability to communicate with people could be a great match for public safety. And CAL FIRE's OV-10s, how the aircraft will help to ensure CAL FIRE is always ready to suppress and contain wildfires. Thanks for joining us this Monday, November 7th, 2022. I'm CAL FIRE Battalion Chief Isaac Sanchez. Here are the fire statistics for the week. In the last few weeks, no major fires have sparked in areas CAL FIRE has responsibility for, but please remain vigilant. We are still in peak fire season, and wildfires can burn year-round even when it rains and the weather is cooler. Recently, the CAL FIRE Tehama Glen unit conducted a successful 967-acre prescribed burn at the R Wild Horse Ranch in Platina. Vegetation management programs are essential to improving ecosystem health and reduce the effects of catastrophic wildfires. The goal of this VMP, like most fuel reduction projects, is to change the size and composition of the fuels to create a fire break. This is accomplished by introducing low intensity fire into the environment when weather conditions allow. CAL FIRE has acquired several OB-10 aircraft from NASA. They arrived at our aviation management unit at McClellan Park in Sacramento this month. The OV-10s will be used as surge relief to ensure CAL FIRE always maintains its initial and extended attack capabilities, even when frontline aircraft are down for maintenance. The OV-10's mission can be varied, but generally includes aircraft coordination and assisting the incident commander in assessing the effectiveness of ground tactics. CAL FIRE is currently recruiting about 150 temporary forestry aid positions across the state to serve as Defensible Space Inspectors, or DSIs. DSIs help homeowners prepare for wildfire and take part in public outreach and fire prevention. Check out why this may be the job for you. A lot of times I will be by myself in like a wilderness area because I am inspecting the area and I'll look around and I tell myself, I can't believe this is my job. Defensible space inspectors, we basically inspect all the properties that are on the state responsibility area. To help the homeowner be prepared as much as they can for wildfire season. A lot of that includes weed whacking, getting piles of leaves picked up, cleaning off your roof and your gutters. If you have the 100 feet defensible space, your house has a higher chance of surviving a wildfire. A lot of what we do in our unit is public outreach and education, so like school visits, career days. We do fairs, anything social events where we need CAL FIRE there. Pass out flyers, pass out stickers to the kids, and get them, get the community more involved because the more they see us, the more presence we have, the more they love us and trust us and know that we're doing good for the community. The cool thing about this job is you can go the fire route, forestry, prevention. There's a lot of different things you can do. There's been a lot of captains, a lot of chiefs, fire prevention specialists. A lot of people have started as a defensible space inspector. This job is the foot in the door. This experience does nothing but help you grow in CAL FIRE. In the last couple of years, we've had a lot of big fires that have been very impactful to the communities that we serve. So I feel like the Defensible Space Inspector position is a very vital one. When a wildfire does come through, you know that you did everything possible to educate that homeowner on what they should have for defensible space. And when you see them do it, it just fills your heart like you know you made a difference. That feels good to know that people trust me enough where they want to build a relationship with me, where they trust me with the information that I'm giving them to help defend their home against a wildfire. Daylight savings time ended on Sunday. Did you remember to check the batteries on your smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors? According to the National Fire Protection Association, in most fires where someone inside the home died, there wasn't a working smoke alarm. So make a point to check your smoke alarms at least once a month. This Friday, November 11th is Veterans Day. CAL FIRE would like to thank all the men and women who are serving or have served in the United States Armed Forces. Your courage, dedication, and sacrifice are truly appreciated today and every day. Happy Veterans Day. For the latest updates on large wildfires, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And for tips on how to protect your family and your home during a disaster, visit readyforwildfire.org. Beginning next week, the CAL FIRE report will transition to a monthly report if fire activity remains low. We will continue to bring you updates on CAL FIRE's activities, as well as continue to bring you tips that will help to keep you and your family safe. Please look for our monthly reports on the first Monday of every month. 
That's the CAL FIRE report for November 7th, 2022. I'm Battalion Chief Isaac Sanchez and have a safe week.